Hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are checking out a Plants vs. Zombie mod. That is right, somebody made it. And I'm hyped because I love Plants vs. Zombies. Mainly the original one. Why? Because that's the one I played the most. And also the second one. I played the second one a lot, uh, especially during class, like sophomore year and freshman year. You no, know, I had a lot of boring classes that year. You know, got to spend some time playing some mobile games. Learned a lot. I wish that I got to play Neighborville and all the other 3D one, 3D shooter ones. Haven't. I'll get around to it because those look super fun. But either way, Plants for Zombies, I do have a love for. So let us check out the mod. We are in the laboratory today, as you can see, the 101 symbol over there. Shout out, Chaos. But yeah, look at this. Look at all these beautiful seed packets here. Now, as you can see, it does say garden damage, so this probably is a new class. But at the same time, some of these do talk about like summon slots, so I think I need to put on like a summoner armor set just to give it the boost it needs. So I'll put on a majority of the Stardust set not all of it because i don't want that dude standing behind me it's kind of creepy all right that should be good but yeah let us go ahead let us grab a handful of the cheaper ones here that's kind of how i organize them but they're not even perfectly organized at that doesn't matter let's get to it we have the sunflower seed of course grows the sunflower holding right click will cause the sunflower to emit healing sun and increase your movement speed now i don't know if this mod is completely done i don't think it is because obviously there's like what hundreds of plants now a lot of them you do have to pay for in the second game i don't know how i feel about that but yeah there's a lot more plants so obviously i don't think it's done just looking at the uh mod here all the stuff that adds in and there's also sun so i'm assuming there's legit gonna be a whole plants versus zombie class but look at this i summon in the plant look at them i can summon in multiple because i have multiple minion slots do they just like go through the floor like that i guess they do so if i hold right click do i need to be holding this i have no idea boom you see the happy effect. Beautiful. I don't know if I need to be hold. Oh, no, you don't have to. Okay, that's good. Oh, look, there's sun. We can collect the sun. That's amazing. Wow. So maybe there's a little bit more than I thought there was added in. But as you can see, just like the game, we start collecting sun. We use the sun to summon in more plants, I guess. I don't know. I, I think the sun just counts towards your mana. But yeah, let's go ahead and do some of them. The sprites look amazing. If we want to get another close look at or another look at it. Looks amazing. I love it so far. But yeah, on to the next thing, the sun shroom. Sun shrooms will go stronger the more sun they create. Sun shrooms only take half a minion slot. I believe this is also very similar to the game. Okay, the sprite on the sun shroom rooms not the prettiest no offense kind of hard to tell what they look like now i need to see a picture of what they look like in game real quick okay i got a picture they're literally a mushroom that smiles this you can't tell that they're smiling so maybe i would use like the whole entire area i don't know it just kind of looks like, you know, they're, they're always in awe. They're always like pog or they're always like, whoa, which I guess isn't that bad now that I think about it. But yeah, these guys, very cool. I do like the nighttime uh, shrooms just as much as I like the regular stuff. But on to the next, the walnut. Grows a walnut, blocks enemy movement and absorbs up to 500 damage from enemies. So this one, hopefully we get to see an action here. Okay. I was saying nice sprites because like you look at the sunflower like geez the sprite looks amazing uh <laughs> i don't know if i could say the same for this but let's spawn in an enemy here and look at that it actually does block the enemy now i don't know about the damage part maybe i'll get out of god mode here and see if i can get him to swing on me swing swing okay he doesn't want to oh oh look he is taking chunks out of him look at that he's getting more sad you hate to see it i don't remember what they look like in the ori original game didn't they get like bandages and stuff on them the more damage they got i don't know personally i don't really like the walnut I, i'm more of a tall nut guy and i don't think they have that added in yet on to the next potato mine this right here the potato mine this is a clutch plant right here definitely one of my most used plants in dire moments well i guess it's not instantly grown but you know what i mean when they do grow like that he's ready to go boom bada bing get him out of here these guys they're super cheap and they do a lot of damage which makes them extremely useful we do gotta wait for them to grow but once they're ready you know it's, it's go time it's go time bring on the horde we're taking out all the zombies with the potato potato plants only speed run question mark future gamer this video on to the next we got the hypno shroom hypno shrooms when eaten will make the eater attack other enemies does not work on enemies that are immune to confusion or enemies with more health than you hypno shrooms uses two minion slots got it let's go ahead let's summon in a couple here and then let's bring in the zombies boom he's hypnotized will they fight each other now Okay, they're both hypnotized. Uh, there we go. They're battling each other. They're, the hypnotized one's not doing that good. 
on to the next puff seed grows a puff shroom holding right click will cause the puff shroom to spurt close range spores at the cursor puff shrooms take only a third of a minion slot all right let's go ahead and see it in action here the sprites on these ones aren't too bad i can definitely tell uh what i'm looking at or at least it captures their face more i don't know <laughs> but let's see them in action here uh, i don't know if i have to do anything okay i do have to do something i have to hold right click got it i'll i'll pay attention this time yeah so do they just like okay so whatever direction i'm pointing in they don't do up or diagonal or anything which makes sense but look at that nice damage they're super cheap just like in game you love to see it next up we got the scaredy shroom holding right click will cause the puff shroom to spread this huh i don't think that's supposed to be there uh scaredy shrooms take only 80 percent of a minion slot scared shrooms touched scaredy shrooms touched when near enemies whoever was writing the descriptions you, you might want to read them a couple times you know it happens to the best of us though i'm pretty sure i do that all the time too but yeah let's go ahead let's summon them in they do the same thing but like when enemies get close they tuck away because you know they're scaredy cats but you can summon in a lot more of them since they are cheaper so that's that's the benefit there hold up one of them actually summoned above the platform that's crazy where's the button at there it is get them boys get them boys good job on to our last one the fume shroom holding right click will cause the puff sh okay so they just got like the puff shroom description on all of these guys which i think i understand what they mean just you know you just press right click and you attack with them they just forgot to change puff shroom with fume shroom and scaredy shroom with puff shroom you know what i mean let's see them in action though these are the big boys these are the ones that'll be doing the big boy damage. They also don't tuck away either. When something gets close, you love to see it. All right, so that was the first couple of plants there. We're moving on to the big boys. Again, there's not too many in this mod. It's a work in progress mod. But we're moving on to the big boys. And it was Pea Shooter. Who doesn't love the Pea Shooter? Of course. Bang. It's the classic pea shooter. So it's wherever I'm standing is where they summon. Okay, not wherever I click. It's good to know. But yeah, summoning something. I don't know if I need to shoot at him at all. Yeah, I think it's me that needs to control it. So I need to hold right click and they will shoot towards my cursor. Beautiful. So a lot of them definitely need you to hold right click. I wonder if there's going to be like a way to just make them attack on their own because I, I don't want to be holding right click all the time. You don't need to do that in the game. They just kind of, you know, shoot on sight. But the pea shooter sprite, definitely a lot better than the mushroom ones. On to the repeater. This guy, what's the difference? Let's see here. One leaf on the head instead of two, wait, no. Two leaves on their head instead of one is what I meant to say. And of course, you know, they shoot twice instead of once. So let's get a couple of them going here and let's go ahead and take fire. So they're shooting two times the amount of balls. Now, they don't have the Gatling one. The Gatling one is one of my favorite. Hopefully, they add that one in the future. But they do have a close favorite. And that's the three-peater. The triple-headed one. I like this one, too. The more peas it shoots, the better, in my opinion. Oh, my God. These, these dudes are getting bombarded by peas. Imagine dying to peas. Could never be me. Well, maybe unless I, like, choke on some, then maybe it could be me. On to the next. We got the ice ones. We got the ice pea seed and the ice room. Or ice shroom seed. Let's see the ice shroom. This guy's kind of just floating. What the hell? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I remember. So this dude freezes everything. Those things come in clutch. So that one's not too bad, but yeah, let's go ahead and see the ice one. The ice one, also another favorite. It's just, you know, it's like the regular one, but it's icy. Slows them, shoots out peas. It's a nice two in one. I think they are a little bit more expensive in game. The same price as the repeater. Next up, we got a favorite looking one. I, I would not consider this a personal favorite because these guys, they can be a little lackluster in game. But I do like them in terms of looks. They look a kind of, they look a little eh. They don't give me that feel that they give in the regular game. But let's see them in action here. The chompers, boom. That boy chomped all right. And his mouth is full, so we got to wait for him to finish eating. But in the meantime, the other ones will eat him up. Yeah, and then look at that. The cooldown is over. So at least that's very similar to the game. Uh, next up, we got the cherry bomb. Of course, the cherry bomb. We know what this does. Let's hope. Yep, okay. I was going to see if he would walk off by the time it blew up. But nah, it blew up more than fast enough. I do like the animation and the sprite on this one. There's some sprites in this mod that are just like way better than the others. It's definitely noticeable. But yeah, last but not least, we have the Doom Shroom. The explosion halves your current life. My, my actual life? Oh. And deals massive damage to all the enemies on screen. Can't damage the destroyer. Balance reasons. So they definitely do plan to have this as a whole class. That's nice. But let's see it in action here. 
So when it blows up, god damn, how did I end up over there? And then it has a cooldown. You take two times more damage, can I use Doom Shroom? Jesus. Like, does that help me or does that help the enemies? Well, I don't know. I mean, if it insta kills everything, then I guess it does help me. But like, I want to test it again, but now I gotta wait like 40 seconds to do it. All right, finally, I can use the Doom Shroom again. Let's test it out on a boss. Just to, just to see and make sure that it actually does do some good damage here. Because if it doesn't, then it doesn't really seem worthwhile. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem that worthwhile. I thought it was gonna insta kill the boss. But then this is when I take out the boys. All right, boys, let's let's run it up. Run it up. Get out the three Peters. Get out the three Peters. Start shooting. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I kind of really dislike the fact that you have to hold right click to shoot. And they, they don't just act like sentries. I think I'd rather them just act like sentries. So hopefully they change that in the future. Or at least have an option. I don't know. This, as you can see, it's not the greatest damage. I don't know what difficulty this world is on. I think it's on uh, expert maybe i don't know i know the world is in hard mode but i don't think that would affect too much I, I don't know if it's an expert or not though maybe i just need some cherry bombs or something i don't know just spawn in some cherry bombs hopefully that helps out a little bit and last barrage right there all right not too bad it, it did take a while so hopefully they don't take up that min that much minion slots again the mod is still early development so there's a lot of balancing and stuff to be done if they're gonna make it a full class like that i think they are but there's a lot of potential here you know we got armor sets we got accessories like they could probably use some weird armor sets from the 3d neighborville games and stuff like that because i'm pretty sure they have some weapon loadouts armor loadouts there's just a lot of potential here which potential is definitely something i like to see when i check out mods because when there's potential there's obviously greatness that can be tapped into but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the mod on the t mod loader mod browser of course i'll see y'all next time bye 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 bye, -bye.